A lot of folks have been asking whether hiking is a sport or not. We decided to provide a detailed and fun answer that we hope you will like. Don't forget to check the description below the video and read the entire article and many other useful articles related to hiking, backpacking, and camping. And if you decide to like this video and subscribe, you will make our day. Thank you. So, is hiking a sport? Despite the competitive nature that you may have with yourself or your hiking buddies, hiking is not truly a sport. But why? After much research, we've come up with a detailed answer as to why hiking isn't a sport and what you could do instead to combine your love of competition and the outdoors. To qualify as a sport, an activity has to be something that you can organize competitions around. While you can definitely have informal competitions with your friends, there aren't organizations that regulate and conduct hiking competitions. That is why hiking is not a sport. At least not officially. Official organizations are important because they establish the rules for competition and, more importantly, verify competition outcomes. This ensures the integrity of the competitions, as official organizations track and provide efficiency to competition events. Hiking is defined by walking in natural environments and usually on dirt footpaths. While you can absolutely time yourself to track how fast you are and compare that time against your past times or your partners, we think that due to the fact that you can't verify the times, fair competition isn't possible with hiking. What is hiking? We think that hiking is walking in a natural environment over a wide variety of distances. The intent behind it can be wide-ranging too. People hike for the pleasure of being outside. They hike for fitness and promoting good cardiovascular health. They hike to access beautiful places that can't be seen from the seat of a car. They even hike in order to spend multiple nights in wild and remote locations. Part of what draws people to hiking as well as sports is the community that is built around each activity. The main thing about the hiking community is that it is much more supportive than many sports communities. This is due to the very low competitive nature of hiking, which is another big differentiating feature between hiking and sport. What is sport? While hiking can sometimes be competitive, sports are always competitive. Whether you're engaged in racing or in a game, there are clear winners and losers at the end of the day. As we talked about earlier, there is always a regulatory organization that makes the rules and validates the outcomes of competitions. There have to be rules and judges in order to keep the integrity of the sport intact. Think about different incidents in sports across time. There have been examples where athletes use unfair advantages in order to gain an upper hand over their opponents. Had there not been regulator organizations to enforce rules on cheating, these athletes would not have been caught for cheating. This is extremely important when defining what sports are, as there has to be a large degree of integrity when dealing with competitive participants. It makes things fair, which encourages people to continue to participate ethically. Crucial differences between hiking and sport. The biggest difference between hiking and sports is the regulatory nature of sports. Sport hiking doesn't exist yet, because there isn't an organization that dictates the rules or enforces them. For hiking competitions that do exist, the honor system is the main way that hikers keep the integrity of the competition. That isn't something that many serious competitors want to depend on, as people tend to do things that serve their own self-interests. This is especially apparent in sports as there have been many cases of people cheating in order to get the upper edge to win a competition. Why some people consider hiking as a sport? Some people confuse hiking with sport because they have small competitions between friends. You can make up all sorts of competitive games while hiking like getting to the end of a section the fastest, competing for the most miles hiked over a given amount of time, spotting the most of a specific type of animal and so many other ways to keep your mind and body engaged while hiking. But again, these competitions can't be verified by anyone, which means that hiking can't be a sport. It doesn't meet the technical definition. Which sport is similar to hiking? Ultra marathon races are considered sports as they are regulated by official organizations. They are close to hiking, because competitors cover many miles over a long period of time, usually taking a few days to complete. Ultra marathon runners often camp out while racing, as the distances that they run are far above what is possible for someone to complete in one day. This makes it really similar to hiking, especially backpacking, as runners spend multiple days on trail during the race. Various famous hiking competitions and races. An unofficial hiking competition, that is close to sport but isn't due to the lack of regulations, is achieving the triple crown of hiking. 
To achieve this accomplishment, hikers must complete all three of the major national scenic trails in the U.S. The Pacific Crest Trail, the Continental Divide Trail, and the Appalachian Trail. People who complete all three hikes can unofficially claim the title of being a Triple Crown Hiker. There are more people that have been to the moon than have completed the Triple Crown of hiking. A great example of an ultra-marathon that mixes hiking with sport is the Four Deserts series of races. The Four Deserts takes competitors on a seven-day experience of racing across various deserts around the world. Racing takes place over seven days total but will take longer as that doesn't include travel times. The Four Deserts race series is regulated by Racing the Planet Limited. In order to take part in this monumental race, Competitors must qualify by providing a doctor's physical proving that you are in healthy enough condition to participate in this grueling race. Outside of that, you must have the determination and grit to complete a race through some of the most austere terrain on the planet. Trail running. Trail running is a great way to combine hiking with sport. Races like the Four Deserts Race Series is an extreme example of trail running racing. But you don't need to go out and complete that behemoth of a race to enjoy trail running. You can sign up for smaller races that combine the elements of hiking with sport. The shortest races you can sign up for are about 5 kilometers in length and can be done all over the world. Runners love to participate in trail running because it combines the serenity of being outside that hiking possesses with the competitive nature of sport. Thank you for watching, happy outdoorsy people. See you around.